His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah on taking the constitutional oath as the Emir of Kuwait. His Majesty the King wished His Highness Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed abundant health and further progress and prosperity to Kuwait and its people. His Majesty commended the historical relations between the two countries and the development of their cooperation for the benefit of the two countries and their brotherly people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah on taking the constitutional oath as the Emir of Kuwait. His Royal Highness wished Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness commended the deep rooted bilateral Bahrain Kuwait relations and cooperation for the benefit of the two countries and their people. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurates Bahrain Steel projects with a total value of $250 million, which will achieve environmental and societal sustainability, represented by building a construction roof to cover the iron ore materials area, establishing a solar energy project, and allocating industrial land to support the company's operations on a larger scale. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed his keenness on supporting the comprehensive development endeavors in line with the growth process in the kingdom led by His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for transformation into an economy based on activities with high added value, taking into account the high standards of environmental sustainability. He stated that the facilitations, legislations and infrastructure provided by the government encourage many major companies to establish their investments in Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah hailed the initiatives of Bahrain Steel Company for their positive impact on the environment and national economy, which establishes Bahrain's status as a leading country in steel industry in the region and affirms uh, the keenness of the private sector on enhancing its partnership with the public sector by adopting policies and practices aimed at achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to the affiliates of Bahrain Steel Company and all the relevant ministries and government institutions for their cooperation with the company in implementing its plans in line with the industrial sector strategy 2022-2026. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture in Jirwa Al Mubarak inaugurated the Ain Al Hanania Development Project. This project is part of the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture's keenness to preserve, develop, and rehabilitate archaeological springs. The development project is one of the most important development and cultural projects adopted by the Southern Government in coordination and cooperation with all government agencies. This project represents a qualitative addition to the facilities and parks built in the Southern Governorate and will meet the needs of Bahraini families and visitors for services, recreational facilities and children's games. It is also a national landmark that reflects the national and historical heritage of Bahraini society.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation, and Moroccan expatriates, Nasser Bourita, on the occasion of the minister's participation in the sixth session of uh, the Arab Russian Cooperation Forum. They expressed pride in the close cooperation between the two brotherly countries in various political, economic, and security fields, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. Dr. Zayani stressed Bahrain's position in support of the Moroccan Sahara, which culminated in the opening of a consulate general of Bahrain in the city of Al Ayoun in the Moroccan Sahara on December 14, 2020. For his part, the Moroccan minister expressed pride in the strong fraternal relations between the two countries and the mutual keenness to develop and strengthen them in all fields. The two ministers appreciated the holding of the first meeting of the joint Bahraini Moroccan Consular Committee in Rabat on December 6, 2023. Bolita affirmed Morocco's support of Bahrain's organization of the first international conference on consular work in the first quarter of 2024. They also discussed the situation in the Middle East and the widespread violence and destruction in the occupied Palestinian territories in the Gaza Strip, stressing the need for the international community to, uh, and active countries to exert more efforts to reach a rapid, comprehensive and permanent ceasefire and the entry of relief aid urgently, adequately and safely and without obstacles. Labour Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan inaugurated the new headquarters of the General Federation of Bahrain Trade Unions, GFBTU. GFBTU Secretary General Abdel Qadir Al Shahabi and a number of MPs and Shura members were present. The minister pointed out that this new labour edifice reflects the extent of Bahrain's progress in the field of ensuring freedom of union work. The kingdom has made great strides in providing a supportive environment for union work by issuing Decree Law 33 of the year 2022 regarding trade unions which constitute a basic reference for organizing union work in Bahrain. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King, this is Bahrain Society organized the annual festival on Bahrain's celebration of its national days. The festival, which was held at Bahrain National Stadium, was inaugurated by Social Development Minister Usama bin Khalaf al Asfur. The festival included a traditional Bahraini market featuring food, arts, crafts, and gifts produced by 75 productive families. An exhibition was also held featuring booths uh, from more than 100 different businesses and NGOs, including schools, clubs, associations, and religious bodies in addition to uh, theatrical and musical performances. There is nowhere in the world like the Kingdom of Bahrain. Here we live as one family. Around me this evening you will see all the different societies for the blind, for the deaf, for those with attention deficit. You will find maybe 60 different tables. We have a Bahraini souk for the needy families who have the most incredible products this year and we have later on um, a stage show a cultural show with dances cultural displays from um, countries such as Sri Lanka the Philippines Thailand India and of course our wonderful Bahraini school children are going to sing and dance for us we're so grateful to be able to live here together as one family in the spirit of mutual respect and love an implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and the Order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute 6,800 housing services to citizens. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning continues the procedures for distributing housing units to the beneficiaries of Salman Town, East Head Town and East Sisra Town projects and the procedures for dispersing housing financing to citizens. The Ministry stated that the procedures for handing over housing units to citizens are proceeding at an accelerated pace. According to the scheduled unit, uh, the end of February no, until the end of February noting that beneficiaries are now conducting electronic withdrawals for the units then assigning contracts and completing legal procedures in preparation for receiving the keys to the housing unit. The ministry also continues the procedures for dispersing housing financing to citizens who apply to benefit from the three type of Tasheel financing in addition to financing the benefits of the new category of Mazaya. It noted the growing number of citizens submitting requests through the website to benefit from housing financing. 
Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Huawei ICT Competition 2023-2024 Middle East and Central Asia opened yesterday. The competition organized by Huawei in a collaboration with the University of Bahrain and Bahrain Polytechnic attracted over 27,500 students from over 600 universities across 21 Middle East and Central Asia countries, marking the highest level of participation in its history. The the competition seeks to bridge the gap between educational programs and the labor market to boost the career opportunities of students in the future. 22 teams from 11 Middle East and Central Asia countries are competing in Bahrain from the 19th till the 21st of December 2023. Winners will qualify to compete in the international competition to be held in Shenzhen, China. Actually, Huawei deeply, not only deeply engaged into the construction for the network and the 5G for the kingdom or for the region, but also we have a strong belief, which is in Bahrain for Bahrain, in Middle East and Central Asia for Middle East and Central Asia. So we believe we are part of the society and the community. So we consider that the talent is the future. The talent is the innovation engine for the future. So we think that the ICT talent uh, development is very important. Actually, in Bahrain, for the past years, we have signed up with uh, seven universities. So we build uh, the ICT academies, academies with the universities. So we also have a framework with the Minister of Labor and Tam Din to cultivate more than 3,000 uh, talents, ICT talent, in the coming five years. We go a long way back in cooperation with Huawei, especially in the Huawei um, ICT competition. We have, um, we have students com uh, coming to this um, competition every year, and we have students won the competition regionally and won the, the second place in the, in the world round. So we are very proud of our students' achievement. That's why we come to this cooperation. We say, right, we want to contribute more and how we can, you know, contribute in the sort of like a, in a, like a family, you know, like a sort of like a relationship with Huawei. So we are building this um, um, Huawei um, uh, ICT Academy and also the help. The is a commercial initiative for the Huawei certification offering in the Kingdom of Bahrain and also for Qatar and Kuwait. So we are very much looking forward to deeper uh, cooperation and collaboration with Huawei. Bahrain's embassy to Oman held a reception on the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national days to commemorate the establishment of the modern Bahraini state during the reign of the founder Ahmed al-Fatah as an Arab Muslim state in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The ceremony included a number of activities in which the attendees renewed their loyalty to the kingdom and their efforts towards achieving a more prosperous future for Bahrain. Under the patronage of the President of the Chamber of Deputies of Brazil, Arthur Lira, a special session was held in the Brazilian Congress on the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national holidays and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the accompanying national events organized by the President and members of the Bahrain-Brazil Parliamentary Group and in coordination with the Bahraini Embassy in Brazil. Bahrain's Ambassador to Brazil, Badr Lahlebi, delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the 16th and 17th of December is an important national occasion to all Bahrainis and embodies pride, belonging and loyalty to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also hailed the advancement of relations between Bahrain and Brazil. He highlighted Bahrain's interest in establishing the foundations of a state of citizenship and social justice, spreading the values of tolerance, pluralism and peaceful coexistence, and promoting dialogue between different religions and civilizations. He added that Bahrain has become a global model in tolerance and peaceful coexistence and has always adopted the approach of peace and supports international efforts to bring about peace, reject terrorism, extremism, conflicts and wars. The president of the Bahrain Brazil Parliamentary Group and a number of members of the Chamber of Deputies praise the development and growth achieved by Bahrain and the coexistence it enjoys.
On the occasion of the International Human Solidarity Day, the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Arsoumi, affirmed that the culture of human solidarity and volunteer work is rooted in the Bahraini society based on the directives of His Majesty the King. Al Arsoumi said that Bahrain, upon the directives of His Majesty the King, has a long record of achievement in, or achievements in helping those in need and has had its influential mark in this field, which also comes as a result of the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the pioneering role played by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which presents uh, the best forms of solidarity with the Palestinian people.